Hey guys, it's Timebricks, and guys, today we're going to be talking about the new Demon Slayer Buzz Mode figure, and that's of course going to be the Giyu uh, 112 scale figure, and out the bat, this figure right here is amazing, holy cow, I've been waiting to talk about this figure for quite a bit of time, it's just, I wanted to know when the pre come out, I thought it was going to come on the 29th of last month, and it's already like, the ne it's already the 14th of this month, so it's like, Dang, it's been a while since um we got the pictures, but we just haven't got the pre-orders. But now it finally is available pre-order right now at Big Bad Toy Store. And another website I'm going to talk about because the price for this figure is, of course, pretty expensive. Um, I was like, expecting that, to be honest. To me, these prices for figures right here are really expensive. The only reason why, because they'll probably be expensive because of how popular this anime is right now. Um, this character is of course pretty famous. I do like the character, but I want to see more of this character um, I really do I have seen the movie of of course the demon slayer. It was pretty good um, We did see some of course parts of him in this movie very little I think maybe it was one scene or two, but I could be wrong But it's of course a 112 scale figure same ones as the other ones of Tanjiro, Nezuko um, Of course getting a new skate and of course other characters like that um, Always wanted to get them, but to me I kind of like Cancelled all my orders minus one of them. I think it's Ren Goku. Um, I already paid for him on um, Country Roll because I got it for like a hundred dollars um, Free shipping like that really good deal because I had some um, coupons on Crunchy Roll shop and that was pretty good deal So like I already ordered that one a while ago So that's probably the only one so far I'm getting um, I'm trying to see if I could get Nezuko or of course Tanjiro because those two look really cool um, of course, it's Zanes too, and um, the other characters I do want to get maybe. It's just the prices are pretty high. But speaking of prices, this is of course going to be around $164.99. Wow, this is expensive. This is, dang, this is like $40, $30 more compared to Tondro. I think a Tondro is like $120, $130. Kind of forgot, but that was pretty high. I could be wrong, actually. I think it was like around $134. Um, but that's of course it was Tondro, but he, dang. Um, that's pretty expensive for this figure right here. Um, uh, does come with some really cool pieces. I do gotta say that. Um, just, I don't know if it's really worth it spending that much on a figure. It's only gonna be around, like, six or seven inches tall. And, like, it's, like, really close to a Hot Toys and, like, other stuff. Like, uh, I guess, some other version of statues, too, of, of course, this character they made. So, like, dang, it's kind of expensive. Uh, but, of course, uh, before I forget, uh, they were saying there's another website you could get this figure, and it's actually Crunchyroll Store, and right here is actually really cheap, it's actually $131.98, uh, that's technically half, not half off, but technically it's, um, you save like, I don't know how much, like 10, 30%. Compared to freaking um, Big Bad Toy Store, it's not anything sponsor or anything. It's just I found a good um, deal on this, of course, because that's how I got my Ren Goku. I got it for like a hundred dollars here when um, like he got pre-orders. I think so far he sold out. It's kind of insane. Him, uh, I think, is on Big Bad Toy Store and um, the Crunchyroll. But if I were you guys, definitely put it if you guys want to get it cheaper here. Um, to be honest, I think here you do need to pay all of it though. So that's one thing right there that it's a little bit oof. You have to pay all of it. Uh, but the good thing is you do get free shipping. That's also really good right there. And I think if maybe you're a uh, Crunchyroll um, membership or something, if you like, of course, pay whatever like ten dollars a month for Crunchyroll, um, you also may I think get discounts for this website. I definitely need to switch my Fumination to of course Crunchyroll. It's just some of the animes in Fumination have dubbed fully. So it's a little bit annoying. Uh, I could probably get some more information. Or let me know if, of course, you have either one of those and which one is better. Because Fumination is really annoying, especially their store. Um, dang, it's really annoying. But here's, of course, the character before I forget, of course. Um, he looks amazing. It's going to come with, of course, quite a bit of accessories. Oh, not insane ones, but that's going to come with some. It's pretty cool. It's going to come with this awesome water effect right here that looks really cool. Um, that's gonna be really useful for, for of course him and Tanjiro. So that's really awesome. It's gonna co of course gonna come with katana. It's gonna come with that cloth of course coat he has, and that's really cool. It's cloth. Cause some reason I don't know why Ren Goku is of course plastic. Um, uh, maybe cause the um, to make it more effects on the the part for his um cape or something. I don't really know why, but I guess it's fine. But right here of course he's gonna have cloth. Um, really cool. It's gonna have um some really cool expressions on him. Here's, of course, one of them right here. It's going to be like a standard, of course, face of him. Just, <laughs> I don't really know. Just, of course, calm. And then he's going to have one with his eyes closed. That looks pretty cool. And he's also going to have, a, actually, pretty shocking, a screaming one. 
Um, that one actually looks really cool. I think the only time he did that was I think when he was yelling at Tanjiro like in the like in the first two episodes I think. So that's really cool. Some people don't like it. Actually, I like it. It actually looks pretty good. Um, so that's really cool right there. Of course, you can take off the cloth right there. You can see under his, of course, coat. You see, of course, some logo right there. I think it's pretty much just one of the Haishiro or whatever it says right there. That's really cool. Um, his hair piece right here. I can't really tell too much. Yep, I, could, I actually could zoom in a little bit. It looks like it's a little ball joint in his hair piece right there. That's really cool. I'm trying to see if anything else... Uh, it doesn't look like it, but it does come with, of course, uh, water effect pieces that look really cool. Oh, there you go. That's another thing. The little um, swap out parts for the legs. Like you, of course, um, I guess sit down sort of. They kind of come with a little cushion thing. That's really cool. I think all of them come with that. So, yeah. It says right here it's going to be six inches tall. So, that's pretty interesting. Like I was saying, it's pretty tiny. Uh, it's going to be releasing June of 2022. Dang, that's exactly a, a year from now. That is a year. Wow. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get this figure. To me, the price is still too expensive. Uh, maybe if I, of course, get some coupons on Crunchyroll um, shop, I'll probably get it. Uh, maybe. It's just it's kind of expensive. But dang, it comes out in a year. But it says right here that the pre-orders close on July 18th. So technically next month. I think you still have like one month to, of course, pre-orders here. Because usually the pre-orders close pretty um, early on a Crunchyroll right here. Very you definitely get it if you guys are gonna want it here in Crunchyroll. Um, if you guys want to get it, at, I guess of course, um, Big Bad Toy Store, I guess go get it. It's just the price, and you still need to pay shipping, and that's really expensive. Oh, but the other thing is pretty interesting. It actually says right here the release date is May of 2022, so that looks like you actually get it a couple months early. I want to say. Oh wow, I did not knew that. I uh, te technically just one month early, but that's of course one thing I just noticed right there in the Big Bad Toy Store website. I'm um, trying to see of course in the description of any other of course accessories, the sword, the pillow, the water effect pieces, oh, standard face, closed face, and a raging face, and of course three of course that's of course faces and the figure. So that's pretty much it right there for the figure. Um, I don't really know anything, of course, to come with. Maybe, of course, a little bit more expressions that could have been cool. Like that one that he got annoyed. That could have been a really cool one. A really funny one, actually, because it's, of course, a really funny scene. But that's, of course, not that bad. Um, uh, for me, I think I'm on a pass right now. The price is kind of high. Um, I don't know if I'll get the whole wave for this, of course, for this Demon Slayer wave. They're really cool, but they're really expensive. And right now, I'm kind of changing my collection to maybe more statues. So, I might wait, but let me know down below, of course, you guys are gonna buy this and if you guys are excited for it. And yeah, that's of course gonna be for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye.